Jake Paul versus Mike Perry goes down this Saturday in Tampa, Florida. The bout will consist of eight rounds at the cruiserweight limit. Leading up to this contest, Jake Paul and Mike Perry met up for a face-to-face -face interview, with both fighters exchanging in taunts and verbal scrummages. I think the shoes are fake, though. Yeah, why not, man? They only made two pairs. They say they're 500K. I don't know. What else are you lying about? That's fine, bro. I'm from the hood, bro. At least these bitches look from good. Private they, match my, they match my fit. You went to private school. I'm gonna beat you. This is a chance for me. That's what this every is, MMA see, fighter is. This is, is what they sell. Every me. MMA fighter is. This is what they sell. But these MMA fighters ain't been doing what I've been doing. Anderson Silva, and, and, Tyron Woodley yeah, was an actual they, champion. They you were not an they actual champion. Prime. They were older. I'm just now reaching prime. I'm just now getting to where I've been doing my best. I learned through the UFC, which was a tough place to learn. And since learning, now I'm having this success brawling these people, those JK. tendencies. I'm going to exploit those green tendencies in this fight. And you will break. You look very flubbery. I'm hard as a fucking rock. My shit is fucking shredded. And You're I was losing. mocking you, bro. You're losing. It's a game. Your You're hair losing. is moving. It's moving it away from your head. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. I'm going to Turkey soon, OK? And this is a mic appetizer. So yes, the Mike Tyson fight is happening November 15th, but I need to stay active and take out mini Mike right here. This is a different sport. This is a different ball game. And the fact that he has his shit in the air and his defense sucks, he's gonna get exposed in less than six minutes. That's all it's gonna take. Jake, okay, cool. I'm happy for you and all that, or sorry for your loss. I wasn't really listening to what, okay. what you said there. I'm square between the eyes and he's gonna go like this. I got hit! Mike Berry's hitting me! Oh, help! I'm gonna try to knock out some of the team. They're already kind of falling out a little bit. This one's fucked up. You can could, you could maybe straighten my nose. Thank you! They thank finally you, gonna see me! I know, you can thank me. Oh, brother, let me tell you what they're going to see. Brother, let me tell you let what they're going to see. What they're gonna ah, see. Mike yeah. Perry. You listen to me, yeah. brother. You're going down, no. flat into the ground. When I get my hands on you Saturday night, I'm going to eat you in one bite. Oh, that's a go. Oh, yes, that's sir, rhyming. Michael Perry. He's rhyming, but you he ain't, ain't got scary. that rhyming. Oh. You, you ain't, ain't got scary, that Michael Perry. All you are is All you got is greed. And you you're don't gonna want this. I'm gonna take a piss all on your grave. <laughs> you ain't brave. Listen to me, brother. I'll show you who the American badass is. Thought it was your brother, the USA champion. Oh yeah, that's right. He's the US champion. Barely right. beat Dylan Dennis. Fucking okay. no. <laughs> that that was that was crazy bunker with those shit. Oh man! And, 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 and look, whenever Mike Perry like him or hate him for some of the craziest shit. You can't hate Mike, Mike Perry, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, you, you know, some of the crazy. Go go and tell um Michael J. White that like, Michael J. White was a fucking knock his head into the fucking back. Like, like, trust me, there's a lot of people that want to get their hands on Mike, Mike Perry. Or some of the crazy shit that he said, but we're not gonna we're not gonna go there right now. That um, brother's got two percent too. Remember? Uh, exa 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 <laughs> yeah, exactly. 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 Then this is one of the things that Michael Jai White he 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 wants to grab that money. But look, Mike Mike uh, Mike Perry, um, Jake Paul, they're gonna they're gonna get at it on Saturday. He still kind of alluded to the fact that the, 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 the Mike Tyson fight is still kind of alive or something. I don't think that no, nobody going to sanction that. I hope they don't sanction it. I hope it never happens. But this is my very fan. I'm very, very excited about. And this Saturday, this Saturday night, I'm going to be doing a watch along for that fight. So make sure you come and join us. 2 a.m. onwards, we're going to be doing a watch along for that fight. And we're, go we're going to see uh, what happens with Perry and uh, uh, Jake Paul. We're going to be reacting to it live as well. So make sure you come and join us on the fight we show. Now, yeah, I'm going to come to you first. On this fight here, you see what Mike Perry was saying to, to, to Jake Paul that, look, I'm not like all these other MMA fighters you fought. You're fighting man that's been over the hill. I'm just coming into my prime. I've actually left the UFC. I've gone into BKB where there's a little bit of boxing, a little bit of boxing tendencies. So you, the, these guys, they just left the UFC and come straight to you. I've been kind of doing boxing with no gloves. So I kind of know one or two things to do when I'm in a boxing ring with you. How do you see that whole thing panning out? 
what do you make of this uh little uh kofofo they just had over here uh you know on the table in that interview there what, what have you made of it all mike perry is looking jacked did you see when he, he is, was it? banging he is it? Mate. <laughs> mate his arms look thick as fuck his neck's absolutely <laughs> popping those veins are absolutely fucking bulging with blood man that dude is ready like um look so from that perspective uh we we know muscle gets tired and there are gloves on. So yes, you he's been doing. <laughs> Bring it right back. You know I, mean? like... I learned from Al Hassan. You know, do the <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it gets tired, and and now it's with gloves. Now gloves is different. It might be lighter gloves than normal boxing gloves, but it is different to bare knuckle. I respect the crap out of Mike Perry. I think he is a badass platinum Mike Perry. All the fights he's taken, what he did to Luke Rockhold in bare knuckle. But Jake is right. This is still now it's gone back to pure, almost pure boxing. And with the gloves, where it comes to scoring points, not necessarily being able to take shots and give shots, Jake has the advantage, the very slight advantage in that fight, I would think. But I mean, with as hard as Perry hits and the kind of shots Perry can take, whew, I think I'm going to go Mike Perry by an edge simply because it's slightly different rules than what he's used to. Jake has been fighting with these rules he is therefore more proficient at these rules with that weight uh that weight of gloves so you know he does have the edge but i think mike perry mike perry might just get him with a punch that'll you know let's say a gut punch take him down perry wins the fight let's get let's go mma fighters have finally defeated yeah. Jake Paul. <laughs> did you just say take him down in the boxing fight Bro. No, no, I, I meant like gut punch, like like uh, 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 and then, <laughs> gut check. <laughs> right, I get, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, Magdane. Uh, let me get let me get your point of view on this one. I mean, this 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 two are crazy. It looks to me like uh, Mac Perry has been to see Vito Belfort when he leaned over that table there. <laughs> <laughs> T R T Perry. Yeah. Uh, shit. Yeah. Please continue. Mate, yeah, I mean, that whole Hulk Hogan thing was a bit cringe, a little bit. Like, they, they dragged that on a little bit too long, but the fucking, the, you might have the rhyming, but you ain't got the timing. That shit fucking broke me. And then that'll just go down to uh, experience at the end of the day. Like, this this is Jake's toughest test. Like, you can't deny it. Everybody's come up against. Mate, like, you could probably even throw Tommy Fury in there just for the, uh, the technical skills that he would have going into this and the most experienced in the boxing world was probably his toughest test coming up against another boxer. And that's speaking volumes as well. You know what I mean? But um, I'm, I'm backing Perry all the way. Like I, I want to see him like going, I, like say he's come up against Luke Rockhold. He's gone in there against some of the fucking baddest men on the planet as well. Like Eddie Alvarez and whoever else he's fought against. Who was the guy that he fought? He, he, he just, he just done he, MVP over bro. And, like, just, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and, and he, he's a dog, bro. He'll just walk you down and take the shot. And these two people, these two men have sparred before. I don't know if you've seen the footage of that as well, where mm -hmm. uh, I think he said Jake Jake landed two of the hardest shots that he could land on him whilst they were sparring. And Mike was kind of like, yeah, 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 you got me, you got me. But like as if he was playing the game, like, yeah, you, you, you got me, bro. Let's set this fight up. You got me. You know what I mean? Like, so I think he's, uh, I think he knows. I think he knows he can get this done. I agree with what Yao was saying. You know what I mean? Like when you when you take it down to points and you look at it across eight rounds, muscle does get tired. Yes, can he edge it over the eight rounds and try and play the point game? I think he can because we've seen we've seen Jake Paul get tired too. Even against Diaz, he got tired. You know what I mean? And Mike Perry's going to hit harder than Diaz does. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, man, hundred uh, percent. Big shot. Uh, what what are you making of this fight? Because again. I mean, I want to say my Perry does sound a little bit of my, like Mike Tyson when he was talking there as well, especially at the beginning. Almost sounded like word for word like Mike Tyson. But look, mm -hmm. is it going to bring Mike Tyson energy into this fight? Because to me, Jake Paul is a very, very underestimated sort of boxer because of his background and where he comes from. But people didn't know that this guy been taking boxing seriously for a minute, and it keeps it keeps it keeps shocking people. But the uh, Fury fight, it's done all right up until now. Do you think he gets past uh, Mike Perry? For me, uh, I, I would have to agree and disagree with y'all uh, in terms of points. Because if we look at uh, MVP, MVP 
if he's, he's a point fighter, his, his, his style of striking. When when he fought Gary, you could see that his style of striking is a point. Uh, he comes from a background of karate, and that's very dangerous because why? Footwork is very key when you're fighting point game. And for him to get knocked out by Mike Perry, that's when Mike Perry had my respect in that fight. Um, mm. he, like, like, I, like, he's a dog. And he's not afraid of eating your punch and then giving you maybe one or two there. Because in the end of the day, it, it, it comes down to, can you handle what I can give you? Yeah, you understand? So mm. Mike Perry, I feel like he's that type of man that he's more than willing to take what you can give, but now he's going to have to ask you a question. Now you're going to have to answer that question as well. So, like, Jack Paul, like, I agree with you as well. Like, Jack Paul, people underestimated him, and they still do underestimate the kid because, I mean, he's a YouTuber, yes, but then he goes into a boxing gym with good boxing coaches that are giving him good fundamentals. But now, in that case, in that ring, it comes to it comes down to who's the dog? <laughs> Who can bring the dog out. And mm. Mike Perry is a nasty, motherfucking dog. So, mm. yeah. For me, I feel like Mike Perry would just walk him down, eat one or two of his punches and drop him if he has to or knock him out if he has to. So, so for me, I, I, I don't think that fight will... If it ends... Because um, Jake Paul is, is a bigger... Bo- is a, not in size, but in, in, in height. I feel like Jake Paul is going to have the biggest advantage when it comes to reach. But if he can't utilize it well, then it's going to be a long 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 day in office for him but i'm still going for my period on this fight eh? if you've enjoyed this video don't forget we do our dust off shakedown every wednesday 9 p.m uk time don't miss it